you tell are you ready with your Bible the Easter College Quillo? What's happening in the world? Let's look at the Bible. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Are You Ready on a wonderful Tuesday afternoon. I pray you're having a wonderful afternoon. Jesus loves you. Let's drink our water from the Artesian well. Salud. No, it's not water. It's <laughs> cranberry juice. Yeah, it is. Yes, yeah, it's cranberry juice. Well, I pray you're having a great one. And you, you're being guided and directed by the Lord in these last days. Let's pray. We have something very important. Warnings from two major nuclear powers to the United States of America. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we love you. We praise you. And we adore you. Holy Spirit, direct everything I say. Let it not be me. Let it be you. Speak to the people who are watching wherever they may be. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's look. Now, this is one of them. First of all, it's Russia. Russia warns U.S. against deploying troops in Central Asia, near Afghanistan. As you know, the United States is leaving Afghanistan August 31st. Russia has strongly warned the United States against deploying its troops in the former Soviet Central Asian nations following the withdrawal from Afghanistan. A senior diplomat said in remarks published Tuesday, uh, Russia's Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryokov said the Moscow conveyed the message to Washington during Russian President Vladimir Putin's summit with the U.S. President Joe Biden in Geneva last month. The warning comes as the U.S. military said last week that 90% of the withdrawal from U.S. troops and equipment from Afghanistan is complete. Now it says, I would listen to this. I would emphasize that the deployment, the redeployment of the American permanent military presence to the countries nearing Afghanistan is unacceptable. That's a warning from Putin. Let's go here to China. China warns, warns U.S. risk disaster if Biden continues, right, with continues wrong China policies. Right, that's that's what we have. This is wrong China policy. Let's go down here. It says here, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi ban blamed U.S. President Joe Biden's administration for continuing wrong China policies of Donald Trump, warning that it risked big disaster if Washington did not take remedial action. Yes, it's getting greater tense, tense with uh, with China and with Putin. Let's hear this video right now. Warnings. It's what he called a red line with Russia, stating that it would trigger an asymmetrical, rapid and harsh response. Mr. Putin's comments during his State of the Nation address came at a time of increased tensions with the West. And as supporters of the jailed opposition figure, Alexei Navalny, staged protests against Mr. Putin's rule. Armand Moscow, Rosenberg, sent this report. President. This was Vladimir Putin's 17th State of the Nation address. He used it to portray his country as a besieged fortress threatened by the West. And he warned, don't mess with Russia. I hope you no one will cross Russia's red line. But in each case, we are the ones who will decide where the red line is. Sammy. Okay. There you go. Russia has said the red lines tensions between members. the U.S. has uh, warships in the Black Sea. Now let's go to uh, China. Xi has also his red line. States warning that his country will not be bullied by foreign adversaries, saying that any threats would be met with a quote great wall of steel. All this during a speech at the 100 year anniversary of the Chinese Communist Party. Jackie DeAngelis is in the newsroom with the details. All now. right. That, they're warning. Let me look at the word. Are China and Russia, are they bluffing? What do you think? You think they're bluffing? Now, I don't believe they're bluffing at all. I believe they are telling the truth. Uh, let's go to the word of God right here. Bluff is a false threat. I don't think so. The, the, the Gospel of Matthew 24, verse 6 says, And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled. It's 